All right, so I left my cart over there. We're gonna go ahead and go through these first couple items. Wait, hold on. Ma'am, that's my cart. What's going on YouTube? My name is Wayne and this is my wife, Kayla. And what we do on this channel is we buy stuff cheap. We resell online for a profit. That's what we do for a full-time job. This week, we're not gonna do a week-long episode. We're just gonna go into one thrift store, red, white, and blue. We're gonna take you guys with us and show you guys what we pick up. So let's go ahead and get on in the thrift store. Now, if you know me, you know every time I go thrifting, I always hit up the jean section. Fortunately, these Mavi jeans were priced way too high, even half off for 15 bucks. There's not enough wiggle room for profit, so I decided to put these back. Just a few pair of jeans behind that. I found a pair of L.L. Bean flannel line jeans. If you're not picking these up, you're making a huge mistake. These sell super fast. Definitely in the summertime, they'll move a little bit slower, but if I have to hold on to these, I definitely will because all winter long, I was selling these like hotcakes. Here's another pair right here for only six bucks. Couldn't pass this pair up. Now, let me know if I made a mistake here. Decided to leave these L.L. Beans behind. They are not flannel line. They were $14.99, 75% off, brand new with tags. I did, however, pick up these L.L. Beans. These are also flannel lined as well. Now, right at the end of the rack, I found not only one, but three pairs of made in the USA Levi's jeans. If you didn't know when they are made in the USA, that means they are vintage. You can normally tell by this little hang tag. It's pretty much a dead giveaway. I pretty much look for that hang tag whenever I'm looking for Levi's, all made in the USA. Excellent pickup. These normally sell for right around 35 bucks. After the jeans, I headed over to the shirt section and I found this LL Bean flannel, $5, 75% off. Just behind that one, I found this on Tuckett. I decided to leave it behind because they were asking $13 for it. I recently started picking up these Duluth Trading Company flannels. If they're cheap enough, this one was $4, so one in my cart. Now I came across this Untuck It 3XL, excellent size, and it was half off $14.99, but unfortunately it had a nice stain on the front, so that one I had to leave behind. Now if you haven't caught on, red tags are 75% off, and this Vineyard Vines is going in my cart at 75% off, 15 bucks. Can't pass along with this LL Bean Easy Cop for only $2. Now I'm not sure why they priced the other LL Bean for $8 and this one for four, but that's okay. This one will go in my cart too. Now Cinch is a brand I used to pick up, but these plain Cinch shirts just don't sell very well. Even for $2, I decided to leave it behind. Now you're gonna start to see a common theme. As long as Vineyard Vines and LL Bean are super cheap, I will always pick them up. That one was only $2.50. This one right here was only $2. And along with this one, $14.99, 75% off, awesome scores. Now, Eaton is an awesome brand, but unfortunately they were asking $49.99, even 75% off, this is a pass. Another shirt I had to pass on was this Piranha shirt, $15, way too high. I normally only can sell these for about 25 to 30. But I will gladly throw another Duluth in my cart for $4. These are just bread and butter finds, easy quick flips, along with this Southern Tide for $2, I cannot pass. Now, like I said, the pricing is all over the place. This L.L. Bean chamois shirt was only $5, so I decided to take that and throw that into my cart as well. Now, this next shirt would have been a pickup, but for $12.99, it is an easy pass. True Elysian 2XL with the little horseshoe logos on the front, but for $13, had to pass. Now, this next shirt I did pay up for. This is a Mizzen in Maine. Pay $10, bucks, but I normally get around $35. Here is another True Religion for 25, just a little bit too much. It's an excellent shirt though. Denim shirts normally go for a little bit more. Now I know I passed on a Sin shirt earlier, but I decided to pick this one up. It was only $2.50, has a super nice paisley pattern. I'm thinking I can get around 35 for it. Now, if you watch my channel long enough, you know that I love picking up Tommy Bahama, but this one was just too plain for $10, it's a pass. However, this Untucket shirt for $5, you know I'm gonna take that one. I normally get 35 for these. And then right after that, I found another Tommy Bahama shirt. This one was $10, but this one's a keeper because of that pattern, 100% silk, really nice pattern. These should sell super fast as the summertime is coming up right around the corner. Peter Millar for $10, a little bit on the edge where I would like to pay for these. This one was a size large, 100% cotton. I decided to put this one back. Another bread and butter brand, Marmot, but I decided to leave this one behind because they were asking $10 for this. Normally get around 25. Another shirt I left behind was this Burberry shirt. It's excellent print, but they were just asking way too much money. But a brand I did pick up highly, they were asking six bucks for this. Recently learned about this brand, it sells really well. Let me know if I made a mistake on this one. I passed on this Christian Dior suit. Learning about suits, let me know in the comments. That's it for my finds, so let's see what Kayla found. 
All right, guys, my turn. I started with the jeans and I ran into these rag and bones. They were gonna be $10, they were half off. Unfortunately, the size 24 is kinda small for us to pick these up, so I passed. Further down the aisle, I did run into these Seven for All Mankind Blair jeans. They were new with tag. They were gonna be half off at $44, but because of the price, I still passed. Right behind them were two more Seven for All Mankind women's jeans. Um, unless they're the dojo style, we do pass on those. On the other side, I was going through the pants and ran into these Seven for All Mankind. They had a super cool pattern. They were 75% off and they felt velvet, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Further down the aisle, as I was going through, I found these Beta brands. We love picking up Betas. 75% off. I couldn't resist, so we grabbed those. Toward the end of the aisle, I was going through and found some Judy Blues. Love finding Judy Blue, and they were only seven bucks. Look at that pattern and that style is so nice. I couldn't resist, love Judy's. And of course, like two pants later, I found another pair of Judy's for eight bucks. Absolutely love selling these. They sell so well and so fast. I walked over to the other aisle and was blessed to find some new with tag Spanx. We paid the full $30. These pants should go for about a hundred. Um, all of our Spanx always sell out super fast. It's a great bolo um, to find. And then just a couple pants later, we found more new with tag Spanx. These ones were only $25, but we were super excited to add these to the cart. After the pants, I wandered over to the women's tops and blouses and found this Tory Burch. Unfortunately, I passed because it was still going to be $64, but that'll be there for next time. I did, however, find myself a Lululemon top for $10. This one is for me. Here's a top that I had to leave behind, a Burberry top. Super cute. Unfortunately, it wasn't half off. It was kind of pricey, so I had to walk away. Over in the cardigan section, I did find this new with tag Eileen Fisher. It was still too expensive, so I had to pass. When looking at Eileen Fisher, if you look at the garment tag and it says linen, wool, silk, or like a mohair blend, those definitely help the resale value on the Eileen Fishers. A couple cardigans down, I did find this Eileen Fisher, which we did pick up. It was 75% off. It's nice and long and super cute. So we added it to the cart. And a couple more down, we found some Barefoot Dreams. This is a huge bolo. We love picking up Barefoot Dreams and it was also 75% off. So at the end of every thrift trip, we go through each item and we look for stains, uh, missing buttons, any imperfections, missing zippers. We check out all the clothes to make sure they are in perfect condition to buy. Um, that's what you can see Wayne doing right now, just kind of scanning and going over the tags. We also take this time to look up sold comps in case there's um, any new brands that we might have found to see if they're worth picking up. All right, there's the back of the trunk. We actually did a Harley Davidson deal here too. I think I picked up 236 Harley Davidson shirts off of somebody local so those will be coming and whatnot pretty soon but uh when we get home we'll uh wrap this video up and go over everything that we picked up all right so we are back at the house that was an awesome thrift trip that was actually the first time we went to that store on a friday and we'll probably be going back more often because um tags were 75 percent off and they actually made a mistake in that store too um we were looking at the uh, image of what tags were 75 percent off and they actually put the wrong tag so they gave two tags 75% off. So every yellow and red tag that you saw in that video, those were all 75% off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over three finds each. Uh, not our best finds, but just three finds that we really enjoyed picking up. So let's get into it. I'll go ahead and start first. All right, first item I'm gonna go over are these men's Mavi jeans. This is an excellent brand. I love picking these up. I did pay up for these. I paid $7.50 for these. These are not one of the 75% off tags. But for Mavi jeans, I normally am able to sell these for around $35 to $38 pretty quick, and they normally sell over on eBay. This is the Zach edition. It's a nice, just a uh, medium blue jean. Sell really fast. Be on the lookout for Mavi jeans every time you're out there thrifting. All right, normally I never get a chance to go through the women's uh, blouses and tops, but I did find this. Let me see if I can get it. St. John's Sport. It's 100% wool. It is a small but it was only $4. It's a nice cardigan. So for $4, I mean St. John's Sport. I had no problem grabbing that. Um, comps are about 50 bucks. So I super, think that's pretty good. Super, super lightweight to ship. Yeah, so that's only gonna cost us first class shipping to ship that out. 
probably be like four to five bucks depending on where it's going. So yeah. profit on that is really, really high, especially if we get that $50 uh, price point. So yeah. awesome pickup. And cardigans are nice too, because you can wear them all year round for offices, movies, around the house, wherever. Definitely. All right, next item is not a super high dollar item, but it is a bread and butter find. I love picking these up and I got that this one at a perfect price point. So this is a men's Vineyard Vines shirt. This is one of the performance shirts. It's the nylon blend. It's a nylon polyester and is a size large. And as you can see, that is a red tag. So we got this 75% off. It's only $2.50. For a men's vineyard vine shirts when i sell these i normally sell them for around 30 to 35 bucks so profit on this is going to be amazing so anytime you can find vineyard vines for this price definitely pick it up all right so going through the women's jeans and pants which i'm getting pretty good at i think um known as the spanx queen of course i would find new with tag spanx these were 25 bucks Let's see if it has a name yeah, white tags were half off, so it was 25 bucks. Yeah, ankle jeanish leggings. These are a size small, but new with tag Spanx are, um, what did I say they were? They should go for around like 90 bucks is what we saw over these, on eBay. Yeah, I, I found two though. Yep. So these were back to back and these are a great size. These are a 2X. Mm -hmm. And these ones we did pay full price for 30, but when I looked up these ones, there's only one listed, none sold for this exact kind, and it was a hundred bucks. So we're gonna list these for a hundred bucks. Yep, if you look up uh, sold comps right now, you're gonna see a lot of pre-owned mm -hmm. Spanx selling for this exact model. There's only one currently listed in this size. So we are gonna price it against the other person, probably a little bit less. And we're selling on multiple platforms. So something like this could easily sell on Poshmark before it sells on eBay. So we'll price this one around a hundred bucks see how fast it sells, but the last few Spanx we have listed have sold super fast. Really fast, and these are cool. They have a nice uh, raw hem and they're distressed, so these are nice. Yep, definitely a nice pair. Yay. All right, next item I'm gonna go over is this Men's Duluth Trading Company Flannel. I'm gonna stop picking up these probably within the next month or pick them up for a lot less than I'm paying because obviously once we get to summer months, these are gonna move a little bit slower. They still will sell, but they'll sell a little bit slower. Um, we only paid $4 for this. That's the reason I picked it up. It was full price, but I normally get around $25 for these flannels. They sell really quick, especially in the winter time. So again, I'm gonna stop picking these up here pretty soon, and then we'll start picking them up as soon as we get close to that winter season. Again, I'm gonna list this one ASAP to get it sold. Uh, but again, 25 bucks on this, not too bad, paying only $4. Okay, my last find that I found, some Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic. This is a 1X, so it's a great size. We sold a smaller one last week. Yeah, last week for $31. It was the yeah. small, medium size, so they have like a slash, so it fits a small and a medium um, yeah. all in one. For 30 but 31. this one's a good size. It's a 1X, so this one should sell for around 40 mm -hmm. These are super comfy. They got nice front pockets. I still need to find one of my size because I want one. Yeah, and it really was soft. 20, but it was 75% off. So yep, only paid $5 definitely for Definitely snagged that. Yeah, the bigger sizes should do better because obviously they're like a cozy sweater. So a lot of people yeah. like the bigger size. Even the smaller ladies like to get the bigger sizes because they're able to wrap themselves up in it. And the bigger sizes command a little bit of a higher price. So I'm assuming this one, since the other one sold for 31 and it was a little bit of a lower size, that one should sell for around 40 to 45. That's where we're listed at. We have a 2X listed right now for like yeah. around 60 and that's a uh, that's a really rare size and these is the 2x so probably this one this one for around 40 45 and see where it goes all right so that is everything that we picked up today or part of everything that we picked up today um, showed off a few of our finds if you guys saw that clip in the middle i kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger that was actually our friend jen and her dogs i'll pop up her um, socials right here Awesome friend of ours. She's actually the one who told us about Red, White, and Blue. Um, that's the store she goes to on Friday, and we just needed to film some stuff for YouTube, so I decided to go there, and I let her pick as much as she wanted out of the cart because I know that's that's where she gets her inventory, and I don't want to take too much from her. So she basically took a bunch of our stuff for herself, which is completely fine. Uh, we love supporting other people, other thrifters, and again, I wouldn't even known about the store if it wasn't for Jen. So shout out to Jen. Um, you guys wouldn't have got you. all the videos that you've gotten um, all strictly because of her. So anytime we see her at that store, if we ever find anything, she's welcome to take out of our cart. So yeah, it wasn't really she was stealing out of our cart. She was, but she wasn't <laughs> at the same time. So shout out to Jen. 
All right, so this weekend we didn't do a full length YouTube video because we were setting up for our whatnot. So if you guys didn't know, we got approved to sell on whatnot. And just last Saturday, we did our first whatnot show. It was awesome. We had a lot of fun. What did you feel? How'd you feel about whatnot? It was a lot of fun and it was super easy. It yeah. wasn't hard to operate. The chat was having super a lot of fun and yeah. it was fun reading the chat. Yeah, she was reading the chat. <laughs> I, was I was doing the computer, getting the options ready. He was showing everything off, so it was a good tag team. Yeah. Um, and the chat was having a lot of fun. Yeah, next <laughs> next week, um, we'll definitely, I'll definitely talk to chat more. I didn't know how long it was gonna take. So if you were there in the show, it was like a short, like 30 minute show. And next yeah. time we'll try to make it like an hour long or maybe a little bit longer and I'll engage and chat more. We learned how to pin items. We were basically learning. Yeah, we didn't know. We kind of just jumped in and we're like, oh, we're just going to wing it. <laughs> And yeah. we did. We were, it went well, though. Yeah, I think it went really good. Um, it went smooth. Everybody that was there hit us up and they were like, hey, you did an awesome job. And we really appreciate it. We appreciate all the support. We put everything up for a dollar. And um, those the reseller boxes, before we even went live, I think both of them were over 60 bucks. And some of the shirts, too. Yeah. Which we didn't even know until it started happening that you can do pre-bids. Yeah. So, so that was cool. Yeah. we I didn't do the little... Uh, there's like a video trial that you can do i didn't do that i just was probably gonna figure it out i probably should have but uh we learned everything we're still learning as we go but every saturday we're gonna do those shows at 9 30. um this coming week we're gonna uh, which would be the week of this video we're putting this out on tuesday so this next saturday coming up we'll have another show we're gonna have a bunch of the harley shirts that we had last week we put those all up for a dollar and then we're gonna have five reseller boxes we're gonna do four men's and we'll probably put up a women's reseller box too. So for all you ladies out there that either wanna buy for yourself or you wanna buy to resell online, we're gonna start all those at a dollar. So um, it should be awesome. It's a great opportunity for those of you who can't source in your area and find really good inventory like we do, you can buy from us through these auctions and then you can use that, um, use that inventory to list online and make some money. Those two boxes that sold, those people are probably gonna make at least 150, maybe even 250 off those boxes because we put really, really good stuff in them. So. Um, as we get um, more established on whatnot, obviously those prices will probably go up a little bit, but you guys still have a lot of wiggle room to make money. But remember, use the code in my bio and my link tree. I'll link my link tree down in the comments or in the description of this video. Click that link tree link, go to that, the very first link, you can sign up for whatnot. You get a $10 code for free. We have a whole bunch of shirts listed in our shop on whatnot right now. So you can buy those shirts. You just use your $10 code. We have them listed at $10. So all you have to do is pay shipping. It's like five bucks. So if you want some shirts, you want to support us, they're in our whatnot right now. Again, we're going to be doing these shows every week. So we're going to preload a bunch of this stuff in throughout the week. So just keep checking in on the show, see what we have listed in our store. We might throw up some like random steals and deals within our store too. I think that'd be pretty cool for those of you who keep checking back and supporting and us. A giveaway. Yeah. So and we're going to do a giveaway so. um, this Saturday. We're going to figure out what we're going to give away. We still don't know. But uh, what we're going to do too is once we hit a hundred boxes given away or not given away, once we hit a hundred boxes sold, we are gonna put a massive, like really high dollar uh, reseller box and we're gonna give that away. So once we hit our 100 boxes, we're gonna give that away and we'll probably do that like every 100 boxes. We're gonna do like a, a huge giveaway and a huge thank you for all the support because we really do, we appreciate you guys so much. We had 150 people on our first What there Not was Live. A lot of, there was a lot of Insane. people waiting. We started, we may have also made the mistake of starting a couple minutes early. Yeah. Not, I don't even think we were really paying attention to the time. No, we, we just were just got excited up. and like started it. Um, so there's people already waiting though yeah. to get in. So that was cool. Yeah, we had like 25 people waiting. As soon as we went live, it went jumped to 80. And I was like, I think this is all we're going to have. So why don't we just start the show? Yeah. And then we, at 930, it jumped from like 80 to like 125 to 150. It was absolutely insane. I, I'm just wondering like how many more shows had 150 people in it at that time. That's pretty crazy. That was our first show, but um, we're gonna be bringing more to you guys. Lots of steals, lots of deals on those whatnot shows. As you guys see, we are able to get a ton of inventory every time we go to thrift stores. So literally we have to offload this stuff at good prices because I mean, we would just be overloaded. We are overloaded we at this have, point. Like, so how many boxes in my garage? So bags still yeah, we, and under our desks are completely full and yep. we have a clothing rack completely full yep. of stuff that we still have to draft and list. So. so this is a way for us to be able to go shopping more because that's what we enjoy doing the most in this business is definitely shopping. We give you guys great deals and uh, we can do what we like and then you guys have really great inventory to list yourself. So 
Um, I think this is a win-win for everybody, and that's why we decided to hop on WhatNot. I was against it for a while. Everybody told me I should do it. Even when I met up with uh, Ryan uh, over at Rally Roots, we met him at uh, Red, White, and Blue, and he told me I should be on WhatNot too. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And so far, we uh, we really enjoy it. So it we're gonna fun. keep we're gonna keep bringing them to you guys. You guys deserve to have some really good inventory given your way. So. Again, every, every weekend, we're probably going to do on Saturday, 9.30. Uh, just check the shows. Check back in on Monday and Tuesday. I'll probably schedule the show at that point in time. If we ever have something going on on Saturdays, we might not be able to do a show that day, but we'll try to figure out another day to, to run yeah, the show. Yeah, maybe so. like Sunday or something. Yeah, don't worry. Whatever the plan is. And don't worry if you're on TikTok. We're not moving our schedules at all. We're not going to like stop doing our 9.30 lives on TikTok, um, or we're not going to miss out on our morning lives here on YouTube. So... Um, we're trying to work around that schedule so we can keep doing what we've been doing because we don't want to fix what's not broken. And uh, we'll try to add some more stuff in um, as we go. So again, thank you guys for coming out to our first show. It was a lot of fun. More shows coming in the future. I can't wait to see what this whatnot journey brings. And it's all because of you guys. Thanks, guys. All right, and that's gonna end our video for today. We're probably gonna do another like kind of thrift trip next week. I don't know if we're gonna do a full week. Um, might do it again on Friday. We might go back to the same store. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button in the bottom. Make sure you subscribe too. We come out with these videos every single week. And again, appreciate the support. Our YouTube following has jumped up in the last few weeks, crazy high, and it's all because of you guys. So um, again, new video coming um, sometime. Well, it'll come out next Tuesday. We're gonna film it this week, obviously. But um, you guys will see that um, next Tuesday, another thrift trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you saw anything you want in this video, you can make sure to hit us up. We'll give you a great deal on it too. So hit us up over on Instagram, over at K-Way Shop. Appreciate you guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. And that's the K-Way.